welcome to daily prelims practice. Here we take up MCQs based on the Hindu and the Indian Express newspaper. Topics for today's discussion are displayed on your screen. The first question of today's session is based on the news article which appeared on page number 4 of the Hindu. In Punjab, there is tussle ongoing between governor and the chief minister over the issues that the state government is going against constitution by not briefing the governor over functioning of the government. Questions related to constitutional positions is important from the prelims perspective. As in 2019, question appeared on the governor. The question says which one of the following suggested that governor should be an eminent person from outside the state and should be a detached figure without intense political links. On similar lines, we have curated a practice MCQ. The question says consider the following statements with reference to office of the governor in India. The first statement says, according to the Government of India Act 1935, the governor had to act based on the advice of ministers of the provincial legislature. The statement here is correct as, starting from 1858, during the period when India was under British rule, provincial governors served as representatives of crown and operated under governor general. However, with the enactment of Government of India Act 1935, the role of governor changed. They were now required to act based on the advice given by ministers of provincial legislature. The next statement says the governor's recommendation for imposition of president's rule in a state cannot be questioned before the Supreme Court. The statement given is incorrect. Under Article 356, the governor can recommend a president to impose president's rule on failure of constitutional machinery. However, in S.R. Bomai case 1994, the Supreme Court classified instances of failure of constitutional machinery into political crisis, internal subversion, physical breakdown, and non-compliance with the constitutional directions of the union executive. This particular verdict allows the Supreme Court to investigate claims of malified in the governor's report. Hence, the statement is incorrect. Here, you had to identify the correct statements and from the discussion, we get option A as the correct answer. Answer for this previous year question is option C. New discoveries, scientific terms have been frequently asked in the UPSC prelims. For example, in 2021, question appeared on the term AS2. The question says the term AS2 is talked about in the context of. On similar lines, we have curated a practice MCQ. The question says which of the following statements is correct regarding Betelgeuse, often mentioned in news. The first option given is, it is a rock planet orbiting the galactic center and is untethered to any star. The second option is, it is a supermassive star in the Orion constellation. The third option is, a particle physics experiment designed to study the properties of beam essence. And the fourth, a herbicidal substance synthesized in generally modified crops. The correct answer to our question is option B. It is a supermassive star in the Orion constellation. The question we prepared was based on the news article which appeared on page 11 of the Hindu. The article is talking about Betelgeuse, the bright red giant star. It is also called Alpha Orions and is 20 times bigger than the sun. In the constellation Orion. Along with dimming, the star shape has been changing as well as per the recent photographs. The star now appears to be squashed into an ova. The answer for this previous year question is option D. The third question we have is based on the news article which appeared on page number 16 of the Hindu. Industrial output grew 4.2% in the month of April, which is an increase from a 5-month low in March. While electricity generation saw contraction, manufacturing and mining grew about 5%. In 2015, question appeared on the index of 8 core industries. The question was asked on the share of 8 core industries. On similar lines, we have curated a practice MCQ. The question says consider the following statements related to index of industrial production. The first statement says it is compiled and published every month by Office of Economic Advisor, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. The statement given is incorrect as Index of Industrial Production is compiled and published every month by National Statistical Office which comes under Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. 
द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट से करंट बेस ईयर फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इंडेक्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन इज टू थाउजेंड इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व द स्टेटमेंट गिवेन इज करेक्ट इंडेक्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन मेजर्स द क्वांटम ऑफ चेंजेस इन द इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन इन एन इकोनॉमी एंड कैप्चर्स द जनरल लेवल ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल एक्टिविटी द करंट बेस ईयर फॉर आई आई पी सीरीज इन इंडिया इज टू थाउजेंड इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट गिवेन इज इट गिव्स द हाइएस्ट वेटेज टू द मैनुफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर द स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट एज इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ आई आई पी इज डिवाइडेड इन टू माइनिंग मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड electricity and the highest weight is assigned is to the manufacturing sector here you had to identify how many of the above statements is are correct from the discussion we get two statements correct hence option b is the correct answer here in this previous year question option b is the correct answer the next question of today's session is based on the news article which appeared on page number 10 of the indian express the news mentions about particularly vulnerable tribal groups in india some basic characteristics are they are mostly homogeneous with small population absence of written language and slower rate of change in 2019 question directly appeared on the particularly vulnerable tribal groups in india our practice and sq is on the similar lines the question says consider the following statements the first statement says ministry of social justice and empowerment has been implementing the scheme of development of particularly vulnerable tribal groups the statement given is incorrect as it is not ministry of social justice as empowerment but ministry of tribal affairs which has been implementing the scheme the scheme covers 75 particularly vulnerable tribal groups for their comprehensive socio economic development the activities included in the scheme are livelihood employment opportunities and economic development education and the health and etc the second statement given is under the scheme development of pvtgs the state government prepared conservation cum development plans the statement is correct the state governments and the union territories shall prepare a long term conservation cum development plans for each pvtg of their state on the basis of requirements also for the implementation of this particular scheme a micro project located in or near the habitation shall be created if not already existing in or near the habitation of the pvtgs the third statement says the central government created primitive tribal groups category on the basis of debar commission's recommendation this statement again is correct in 1973 the debar commission created primitive tribal groups as a separate category who are less developed among the tribal groups in 2006 The government of India renamed the primitive tribal groups as PVTGs. Here you had to identify the correct statement. From the discussion, it is clear option D is our correct answer. Answer for this previous year question is option C. As there are 75 and not 95 PVTGs officially notified in the country so far. By elimination, option C is marked the correct answer. The fifth question of today's session is based on the news article which appeared on page number 19 of the Indian Express. Comptroller and Auditor General of India recently addressed Second Supreme Audit Institutional Summit under the Indian Presidency of G20. CAG observed artificial intelligence is making greater inroads in governance. Constitutional bodies are important areas for the prelims examination. As in 2017 question appeared on the election commission and the related provisions. We have curated a practice MCQ. The question says which of the following is not considered as a bulwark of the democratic system of government in India. The first option is Comptroller and Auditor General of India. The second is Union Public Service Commission. The third is President of India and the fourth Election Commission. From all the options, option C is not the bulwark of the democratic system of government in India that is President of India. B R Ambedkar describes the bulwarks of democratic system of the government in India as CAG, Supreme Court, Election Commission and Union Public Service Commission The Indian Constitution possesses instruments which prevents democracy from compromising on certain basic principles Let's talk about Comptroller and Auditor General Article 
148 provides for an independent office of the Comptroller and Auditor General of India. He is the guardian of public purse and controls the entire financial system of the country. CAG holds office for a period of 6 years or up to the age of 65 years whichever is earlier. Answer for this previous year question is option D. The last question we are having is based on the news article which appeared on page number 19 of the Indian Express. The central government has released third installment of the tax devolution to states. Questions related to financial relations between center and states under which we study tax devolution is important for UPSC examination. In 2015 question appeared on 14th finance commission and the recommendations similarly we have curated a practice mcq the first statement says under the 15th finance commission the highest share of devolution is based on performance of states on population and area combined a statement given is incorrect as for population the share of devolution is 15% and also 15% for area the highest share of devolution is based on the performance of states on the basis of income distance that is 45% the second statement is the commission has added new criteria of demographic performance for the fund devolution the statement is correct as the 15th finance commission has added the new criteria of demographic performance and the share of devolution given is 12.5%. The last statement says income distance is distance of a state's income from the average income of all states. The statement is incorrect as income distance is the distance of a state's income from the state with the highest income and not the average income of all states. Also, a state with lower per capita income will have a higher share to maintain the equity among states. Here you had to identify how many of the statements are given correct. From the above discussion, option A becomes our correct answer as only one statement given here is correct. Answer for this previous year question is option A.